Good afternoon, everyone. This is Pastor Kenny Lee coming to you live from an undisclosed location in Monroe County. The rain's kind of beat me up under a little porch today. Some of you may recognize this place, but my bet is that many of you are going to find it challenging to figure out where I am today. That's my hook. Now let's listen to the pitch. I want to share with you a passage of scripture from the book of Acts, chapter 10, beginning with verse 34. Then Peter began to speak to them. I truly understand that God knows no partiality, but in every nation, anyone who fears him and does what is right is acceptable to him. You know the message he sent to the people of Israel, preaching peace by Jesus Christ. He is Lord of all. That message spread throughout Judea, beginning in Galilee, after the baptism that John announced, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power power and how he went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil for God was with him we are witnesses to all he did both in Judea and Jerusalem they put him to death by hanging him on a tree but God raised him on the third day and allowed him to appear not to all people but to us who were chosen by God as witnesses and who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead he commanded us to preach to the people and to testify that he is the one ordained by God as the judge of the living and the dead. All the prophets testify about him that everyone who believes in him receives forgiveness of sins through his name. While Peter was still speaking, the Holy Spirit fell upon all who heard the word. The circumcised believers who had come with Peter were astounded that the gift of the Holy Spirit had been poured out even on the Gentiles, for they heard them speaking in tongues and extolling God, then Peter said, Can anyone withhold the water for baptizing these people who have received the Holy Spirit just as we have? So he ordered them to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Then they invited him to stay for several days. This is the word of God for us today. This is a very simple message that Peter, Peter preaches. It's, it's simple it's direct, it's to the point, it, it is a direct witness of, of Peter's experience. And we wonder how this message had so much effect. How, how did this message make such an impact? And, and why did God choose this particular time and this particular group of Gentiles to, to make this, drive this point home to Peter and the other Jewish people that were with him? Up to this point, Christianity is just a movement within Judaism. It is a group of Orthodox Jewish believers, people who have followed their rabbi Jesus, who was also an Orthodox Jew. But in this, in this singular event, God makes it apparent to Peter, who, if you'll go back and look at the ninth chapter of, of the book of Acts, you will see that Peter went under um, some duress. God, God appeared to him in a vision and made him understand that he was to go with these people whom Cornelius, um, the Roman centurion, had sent. And so Jesus comes and he shares the gospel with this group of people, and they are so hungry for it that. They begin, they receive the Holy Spirit while Peter is still preaching his message. So Peter has put together this great gospel message, and God's Spirit comes in and interrupts Peter's preaching. Now, I don't know about the rest of y'all, but I think we could do with a little bit of that same Spirit in our worship services where, where the preacher maybe could just get out of the way and let God transact some business with those people that are gathered there. We need a little more of that. And I just want to help you understand that this group of Gentiles were hungry for the gospel. Um, Cornelius, ha Cornelius has an angelic visitation, and he sends messengers to find Peter. Peter comes under the admonition of God's Holy Spirit, um, basically propelled into this, into this missionary venture, and then 
Peter begins to share the gospel with these people and he finds that the that the soil of their hearts has been tilled and is fertile and as soon as the gospel is planted in their midst it, it springs up and bears fruit and God God shows this group of Jewish people that he has chosen the Gentiles in the same way that he has chosen the Jews. Remember back in Matthew 28, Jesus says, Go unto all nations, preaching the gospel, sharing the good news of Jesus Christ, baptizing them in the name of the Father and Son and Holy Spirit, and teaching them all of the commands. So people are to be preached to so that salvation might come so that they can undergo the process of training and learning and, and that ongoing process of sanctification in order that they might become the next generation of witnesses. And so I want to challenge you, what are you doing to, to develop? How are you investing in that next generation of witnesses? And who around you might you, might you think that maybe... There's no way that these people would receive the gospel. Well, the, God's word says that people can't hear God's word unless somebody preaches. And there's no way that people are going to come to faith unless they hear about faith. So it's incumbent on us, that the, those of us that know Jesus, to share our faith. And so I want to play a piece of music for you. I think it's a beautiful piece of music. It's by RVTA Kids. I do not own the rights to this. Let's listen together. Would you pray with me? Holy God, we've opened your word. We've opened our hearts. And now, God, we open our mouths to offer praise to you. Praise for your son, Jesus Christ. Praise for the great love that you have shown to all mankind in calling us the beloved. Praise for the Holy Spirit that you have sent to empower us, to embolden us, and to give us the means to live a righteous life before you. Lord, teach us to be present. Teach us to be open. God, teach us to open our lips, to speak 
the words of our witness in faith, knowing, God, that your Spirit will speak in us and through us and in spite of us if you need to. Continue to lead us in the way that leads to life. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. I hope that you guys have enjoyed today's video and that you have a great rest of your evening. I'll see you tomorrow.